All right, well, a high-stakes court battle between Apple and Samsung kicks off today. Now, the tech giants are accusing each other of patent violations. But do some of these claims go too far? Joining us now, John Rettinger, president and editorial director of Techno Buffalo. John, I'm thrilled you're with us right now because I know you know this stuff. You know, these guys are pointing fingers at each other, and it's almost like trying to get a patent on air, isn't it? I mean, this stuff is just out there now. You know, it is getting very aggressive. In the tech world, patents are becoming extremely valuable, and they're being defended ferociously. So what we have going on right now, actually starting today, is Apple versus Samsung, which really most are viewing as a proxy battle of Apple versus Google, which makes the Android operating system uh, mm. that Samsung puts on their devices. Uh, and it's really a first time we've seen Apple be scared. They're seeing their market share fall. Actually, according to IDC, the quarter that ended in March, Apple's market share dropped from 16.9, um, sorry, from 23% to 16.9, whereas Samsung went from 29 to 32. So fortunes are going in opposite directions for Apple. So is that what this is all about? I mean, you know, the Galaxy is selling. The phone is out there. You see it more and more. Apple trying to say that Samsung pilfered. It's the twist to rotate, you know, how the screen twists, the touch screen. Yep. But that's everywhere, though. How do you patent that? So, and that's probably a much better question. Um, whether or not they should have been patented is another argument, right. but they were patented, and Apple does have the rights for them. Uh, there are three real big patents up in the air, and you mentioned a lot of the touch screen, and also design. You look at the yeah. big case, uh, it was Apple versus the Galaxy Tab. And actually, let me ask you, Tracy, do you think this is an iPad, or do you think this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab? I think it's an uh, iPad. Probably not. So you'd be wrong. This is a, this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab. I fell for that. So you took a look at these... So you look at these two next to each other, an iPad here, a Samsung Galaxy Tab here, you know, there certainly are similarities wow. between the two designs. Uh, so whether or not Apple has, you know, legal grounds, or whether or not you could say, well, what else can you do with the tablet? It's a screen. Right. You know, there's yeah, certainly arguments the to be made as well. And I know Samsung trying to say Apple infringed on its 3G, on its MP3 playback. Yes. The crazy part to me, though, aren't they partners? D doesn't Apple use Samsung's products in its, in its mm. stuff? Yeah, so that's actually a funny part. Right. Uh, Samsung manufactures some of the processors that are in Apple devices. Now, they've been trying to move away from that, uh, but there is Samsung's name inside of the components right. in all of their products. There, there's a lot at stake here, though, Tracy. Uh, we're looking at between these two companies uh, over 90% of the mobile world profit wow. and over 50% of the market share. So Apple wants to block Samsung, pretty much all their devices, the Galaxy Tab, the Galaxy S3 series devices we see on yeah. every carrier. Uh, and they're looking for them to pay $2.5 billion in damages. I know. It's crazy. John, do, can you make a call? Do you, which way do you think this is going to go? You know, if, I think if Apple felt that they had a weak case, they'd be looking for a settlement. Uh, Apple is aggressively pursuing this, which leads me to believe they feel very strongly about their case. Regardless of how it plays out, though, the real losers, though, are the two of us and the rest of the consumers out there. Totally. Apple wins. We have, one, we have one less choice of devices to buy. If Samsung wins, it's going to change how Apple manufactures right. their products. Regardless of who wins, we lose. We, uh, we always do. John Rettinger of Techno Buffalo, thanks for taking the time and sharing your thoughts.